That's why I'm easy. Uh, I'm easy like Sunday morning. Uh, That's why I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Hey, good morning, good afternoon. Mental health. And after you hear this, you know. You probably going to agree with me if you don't. Listen, whatever side of the diaspora that you are on, I want to welcome you. I thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for being out there. And um, let's get into this right here. This is an article taken from the Daily Mail, okay? And it says, Mysterious object that appears in religious art shows that Jesus really was magic. I kind of knew flash for y'all but I'll just wait the Bible details how Jesus brought a man back from the dead using the sound of his voice but ancient artwork may show that the Christ okay y'all hear my dog he about to start acting crazy just ignore him um Maybe that ancient artwork that showed Christ used a little bit of magic. A 4th century painting of the story discovered in Rome shows Jesus holding what some archaeologists claim was a magician's wand. They, they got a picture depicted Jesus. Other paintings dating around the same time also depict Christ holding a wand-like object while performing various miracles like multiplying loaves of bread and healing the sick. And he had a magical wand. Boy, that's where these devils never cease to amaze me. Um, <laughs> now, you, we already know that picture in the Vatican um, well, Michelangelo was commissioned to do a painting of the Holy Family. He used the black family because he had no reference. He had no reference. Okay? So, what that tells me is y'all keep on trying to distort, um, plagiarize, marginalize history in some kind of way. And now we come to the fact that he was, what's the dude's name? The magic dude. <laughs> the one Michael Jackson used? Okay, so him and him was in the same clique. Right. However, some researchers have suggested that these masterpieces actually depict Jesus holding a staff, which was likely portrayed as a way to connect him with the prophet Moses, who was more well-known at the time. So, he, uh, I mean, that's easier for me to believe than to think that Jesus was walking around Jerusalem with a magic stick. Okay, let me heal you. Whop! With the stick. Whop! Let me, I mean, come on, y'all. Don't do us like that. Why don't y'all sit the hell down with this craziness? Regardless, though, historians believe early Christians saw their Lord and Savior as a magician. According to the Bible, Jesus performed miracles through the power of God and his ability to heal people and bring them back from the dead 
while also producing food and drink elevated him above Roman gods in the age of Christians. That fantastical feat may have caused some people to turn to the superstitious belief that Jesus was a magician and that can only explain his actions. I mean, here's a group that gets together in the morning and drinks wine and says it's blood and eats bread and says it's flesh. Uh, Lee Jefferson, the chair of the religious program at Center College in Danville, Kentucky, said to a live audience, you can probably understand why people thought that it was very superstitious because they, they was like doing some weird stuff. But I want y'all to keep in mind that Jesus never claimed to be Christian. So that is something that you got to keep your mind focused on. Okay? Jesus was not a Christian. These people made him Christian. These people. <laughs> I mean. You. Okay, stop. Um, the belief that Jesus was a magician may have been translated into paintings dating back to the early 3rd century that depict Jesus Christ and his wand. Uh, so, there's just no way around it as far as they're concerned. Now, They also uh, discovered the oranges of the of the prayer road, where Jesus and disciples walked every day. Okay, um, so there's a, been a just a, a a lot of Jesus talk lately. Why? I mean, y'all don't y'all don't believe in the Christ. That's just a cop out for most. I mean, most want to do whatever they want to do and then run back to Jesus, Jesus, and say, I'm sorry, and say, I repented. And then you turn around tomorrow and they do the same thing. Okay, well, all right. Anyway, <coughs> what do y'all think about this? Do y'all think Jesus was magic and that he took his wand and he waved it over stuff and allowed this stuff to take place. <coughs> I want you to think. Because there's a lot of early uh, artwork that depict Jesus with a wand. It, it depict him holding a wand. And one of the earliest records of wands being used was in the 9th century B.C. when people who practice an ancient religion, Zoroasterianism, use wine-like objects made from small rods or sticks during their sacred ritual. You know, they infused uh, stuff in there. And I, I would only gather uh, to say people that lived back then they had a closer relationship with God, a higher power, whatever you call them, Yahweh, Yeshua. Um, they had a higher relationship because there weren't all these distractions. Okay, they didn't have cell phones. So some of the things that when you're closer to God, you get to have more revealed to you. And the more you can do away with distractions, the more you can see clearly. Okay, you know, it's got to be like the Clydesdale. You got to put the blinders on. But with that being said, I ain't going to stay long. What y'all think about this? Y'all think Jesus was a magician? Especially all of y'all saints and even y'all ain'ts out there. What are these old depictions of Jesus with a um, wand in his hand? In one painting, actually, Jesus holds a wand over the cadaver of Lazarus. Before he performed the miracle of raising him from the dead. Lazarus. Oh. Okay. Let me quit.
Tell me what you think about it. Leave your comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Was Jesus, was Jesus a magician? Yes or no? Don't chicken out.